the, just the fact that it counts any of them is makes the D4 really powerful for working towards Platinum God and collecting items. Anyway, let's not worry about that anymore. Let's just play some of this game. What do you? What is this? Oh, hi, Brow. You get a pee item, a poo item, a toilet item, and a tampon. I don't think I know what they all do, but... <laughs> Let's just add to it. Alright, explosive diarrhea coming in handy. Huzzah! Fart. Two great words. So I have butt bombs, I have the poop trinket, I have number one. Yeah, you don't get any of the space use items, obviously, from the D4. <laughs> Touching an enemy with flush turns him into the poop. Oh, you're using it's a space use item. It turns the whole room into poop. All the enemies in the room, at least. Hey, Mez. Uh, there used to be. Uh, I moved to Japan a year ago, and that kind of put a damper in my schedule for streaming, and subsequently a huge dip in my normal viewer count. I appreciate the kind words, even though I just got hit and lost my soul heart. Let's see if I can find another one. So in this challenge, it seems there are no item rooms, but there are indeed shops. That in there. Get that soul heart back. Oh, it's a chest. Oh, open it. Hey, nice. Now I don't have to worry about a little bit. I don't have to worry as much about my soul hearts because Devil Deal Chance just went up. So even if I take damage, red heart damage, there's a chance I can get the Devil Deal anyway. Not even that bad a chance. And I got my soul hearts anyway. Oh, I should have gone in the curse room first. It's okay. Not that big a deal. I'm just gonna use one of these soul hearts. Oh, My least favorite curse room. Anyway, this challenge gives you a decent build right off the bat, so I think uh, I shouldn't be complaining too much about this one. Just gotta watch how I'm taking damage here a little too much. I'll ignore the shop, five cents isn't enough, plus the donation machine doesn't appear in challenges. What's the problem with these challenges? I'm glad I'm getting them out of the way because I'm not a big fan of the idea of a challenge in this game, like a challenge run. Yeah, Mez, I'm usually on it about this time on the weekends because I still work during the week and I find it's hard to get time to stream. And then late evening on the weekends, if I'm not out partying, uh, I just turn on the stream. And I don't get a lot of viewers because it happens to be the exact middle of the frickin' night in most parts of North America. Oh, Halman! With the epic host! Sa Halman, as he used to be called. Now it's just Halman. Halman. Thank you for the host, brother. That's really awesome. One of my first hosts since they implemented the feature. Yeah, you get the unlocks for beating him, that's why you gotta do it. You gotta get through these challenges. But I don't like the way that they, you know, give you a goal in mind in Isaac. <laughs> like, you're supposed to make your own goals. Oh, I lost my smile somehow. I got some tear rate. Yeah, good to see you in the stream again, it's been a while. Right on. Were you streaming, Isaac? It's the thing to do right now. This game is so amazing that you just gotta stream it. Oh, I'm pissed. I just lost my uh, my heart there, so now my Devil Deal chance is a little lower. But I still have the goat head, so... Yeah, but with 
true platinum god, you can do a shitload of stuff. Like, if all you're doing is wanting true platinum god, you have to do the challenges. Uh, but when you're playing the game and you're like, okay, my goal is to beat, you know, the blue baby in the chest, and I can do anything I want on the way there, you have a lot more options than when it's like, oh, my goal is to beat the heart with all these poopy items and no item rooms. Ah, uh, fuck it! I'm getting hit in the dumbest ways! Ooh, Valkyria Chronicles. Nice. Well, I played a lot of the original game, but yet... Yeah, it doesn't instantly translate to being skillful of this game, but it helps... just to have a thought process that's somewhat similar. So... Uh, I played about 180 hours of the original Isaac. I got Platinum God twice on that one. Once casually and... well, both times casually, but... Once, uh, when it was sort of early in the game. Game's, um, lifespan. When, you know, the big names were Zyder and Color Printer and the Code Breakers of the game. And then I got it once earlier this year. Streamed every bit of it. Way later. Way, way after a lot of the new strategies were discovered and things like that. Yeah, the lack of range is gonna cause me to get hit a lot this challenge. There actually is a little bit of challenge to this now, now that I think about it. Even more butt bombs. Oh, that was Max's head he's referring to, Mez. In the original game, uh, Max's head was an item that would make your tears... Actually, they'd make them bigger, not more fast to come out. Uh, so you get more damage out of that one. The goat's head... Yeah, he was not referring to the goat's head. He was referring to Max's head from the first game. Max's head was removed from this game, and it was actually the only item that I can think of that's been removed from the original game. And it's been replaced with the cricket's head which does the exact same thing but the reason they did that was because uh, Max was symbolic of a dog that Edmund, the creator of the game, really wanted but doesn't have uh, so he got rid of it and replaced it with a cricket's head which I don't understand exactly why but that's what the internet says I got all these keys but I don't care about the shop or the arcade really so I'll just give this to him Another bomb. Let's find that secret room. I think if you think about it carefully, you can see why the items do what they do. Like, uh... The creators obviously put a lot of thought into it. Yeah, I don't get. <laughs> I don't know much about the cricket's head, max head thing. I, I just, I saw it on the website, the reasoning behind it, but I don't remember. Okay, so cricket's a real dog. Max is just a, a wannabe. What's this do? HP up to your shot. Shot speed down is kind of cool too. I kind of like playing with that. Uh, these items aren't that great, but I'll take the flight one. Since I'm in a challenge, if I haven't seen an item yet, there's no reason to just to touch it to put it on the sheet because challenge runs don't work that way, apparently. Let's go put more money in the beggar. Give me a lot of keys, buddy. But that's about it. Wasted a butt bomb, but whatever. Eventually, I think so, yeah. 
I love me those achievements. And this game is just too much fun. Oh! Noid, just a tiny bit too late. Fell annoyed. You got me. I got got. With that eternal heart. Such a common mistake. Straight up forget about eternal hearts. Oh, they already fixed the bug. I was thinking about that when I was watching uh, the Cobalt Dick Hammer um, marathon of the game. When, uh, when they were like refusing to use a glitch, I was like, "Yeah, I would probably would def I would probably use that glitch." And uh, I'd admit it to people. I'd be like, "Yeah, that's how I got the achievement," but I wouldn't feel necessarily bad about it. But if it's too late, I gotta do it legit. Unless I just want to download, like if it gets way too frustrating and I give up, I can just download a Platinum God file or something. And yeah, the ultimate hiding behind rock strategy is good, but usually it's better when you have a little bit of range. Something's got to be standing right up to the rock for me to hit it. This one's okay though, I can just stand in the water. Or fly over the water. All the keys I can't possibly use. They can fly right into the water, or into the rocks. Health is not looking so great right now. I should find out good strategies to use these, uh, the flusher on. I'm thinking that the 2x2 two two rooms would be a good idea. <laughs> Anyone who's played this game enough has experienced forgetting to pick up an eternal heart, definitely. I don't know what that does. Let's have a... Um, I know Innovatious is a regular, Mez. As close to a regular as you can be, anyway. Lost runs, ease... Oh, I like that all stats up item. That includes range, which I've needed the entire run. Also includes damage and shot, uh, tier rate, which is already pretty damn high. Looking good. That was a good item. I forgot what it was called. Was that Capricorn? That was Capricorn, right? But yeah, no, I, I guess I'm, I don't have any, I knew I wasn't going to get the lost achievement that, or, like, before they patched the glitch out. I just wasn't dedicated enough to the game to rush that kind of shit. I'm going to slow play it a little bit, enjoy myself. And if that means I don't get to abuse a glitch, well, that's fine. You know? As much as I love abusing glitch, that's more for speedrunning purposes. I'm definitely going to take my time with this game. Alright, shit. That's an eternal heart. <laughs> Please don't forget. Alright, let's get the regular secret room. Just a couple of bombs. I'll go ahead and do this. I found a, a magic mushroom item from doing this once. I like my trinket. Oh, I like the pill. Give me a... Give me a, give me a, oh, give me a balls, give me a, no balls of steel, but that's okay. <laughs> Save myself a bit of walking here. Ah, uh, come the fuck on. My aiming. Alright, that's all the rooms on the floor. This is a red heart, so might as well grab. Yep, 
Yeah, I found the magic mushroom item from blowing up mushrooms once. The one that's an all stats up. I was happy when I did that. I could test if this would turn his uh, eyeballs into poops. Oh, god damn it. I highly doubt it though. His eyeballs are like the only threatening thing if I use this strategy. Yeah, he cannot land on these rocks, it seems. He's, uh... He's uh, stuck. He's stuck. The eyes, however, can fly right into me. Oh uh, yeah, I'm a bigger fan of the Petrified Poop than the Liberty Cap at this point. Uh, I didn't find the Magic Mushroom, I found the Liberty Cap. And yeah, I think the Poop Trinket is a little better than the... Liberty cap. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. But yeah, in a past run, I blew up a mushroom. And I found... The... Magic Mushroom All Stats up, which is an instant take. That's one of the best items. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thanks for that reminder. Let's keep moving here. play some of this out. Is that just an enemy fly? Did I kill it? No. What happened was my orbital snuck through the slot machine there. Hey, I like a black heart. Oh, and I, I got another really good pill there. Alright. A dollar? Holler for the dollar? That's the second one in a row! From slot machines. Why did I do that? I don't know. It's for shits, I guess. If I wanted to fight the boss room, then... I think the Liberty Cap can give you a, ma um, a magic mushroom effect in one room, right? Liberty Cap can do all sorts of awesome stuff, like the, uh, the compass effect, for one. So it actually is a very strong trinket. In the first game, it was one of my absolute favorite non-Polaroid trinkets. Like Cancer, Curved Horn, then maybe Liberty Cap somewhere under there. Damn, I am a lot stronger now. The Demon Baby's really putting in some work here, I think. Alright, uh, don't pick up any coins I don't need. Oh, you have got to be shitting me! Alright, there's still going to be more shops in the challenge, so don't have to be too upset, but what a waste. What a waste of a shop. <laughs> yep, that's the same as the old game Innovatious. You can always get the dollar from slot machines, but um, you have to you have to beat Satan with a certain character to be able to get the quarter. I don't know about the, how it's done in this game. Could be the same though. What? That guy was fucking moving it. Demon Baby seems a little slower than in the original game, but still quite powerful. He was one of the high tier babies in the old game too. Not the best, but not not as bad as the bad babies. He's um, probably worse than Little Gish, probably worse than Rainbow Baby. Ugh. I should have just used my toilet flusher right away! And 
now that I have the dollar, the Liberty Cap would be better than the poop. Hey, another item I'm upset that I can only pick up in a challenge. It would be nice to get that for real. Alright. I'm always going to pick up the Pact. Sister Maggie is not bad. Yeah, I, I really had a good time with the Rainbow Baby in the old game. I also really like that... Um, Hey, Dev Drop. Oops, I picked that up. Might as well pick up Sister Maggie. We'll get a whole train of followers going here. I also really like the Harlequin baby from the first game. So good to see you, Dev Drop. Thanks for coming into the stream. Ooh, I thought it would be there. I guess there's a couple of different spots it could be. No, not there. There we go. Yeah, I'll do the same thing again. Because a magic mushroom would be nice. Some pill There's some decent pills in this rotation already. A balls of steel! That's what I wanted. Why were you watching Desert Bus? Is the, is the charity marathon happening? That paw, it's probably better than the poop flush. In fact, I, I'd wager to say regarding how often I forget to use the poop flush, that that paw is definitely worth it. It's starting to get quite powerful now. But too bad the challenge is almost over. Yeah, this one, this one went okay, I think, this challenge. If I have to fight all these champion bosses again. It's ridiculous. But the bloat is a tanky motherfucker. Take him down. Oh, we got those full orbitals. How's the desert bus thing going? Is it entertaining? I've never actually taken part in watching it. I've heard a lot about it. What with it being incredibly famous. Uh. Hey, as soon as I pick up a red, uh, a, what do you call it? Any health up item. That's what the paw is for in my eyes. Wait for that health, health pickup. Oh, yes. That is the second time in a row I found that item, too. Second challenge. What does this pill do? Oh, it turns everything into charm. I've just seen pheromones so many times without, like, seeing it again. So I've never actually used it against enemies. Yeah, excuse any sniffling I might be doing tonight. I do have a bit of a cold, I think, it seems. Kind of sucks, but... Just power through everything in my life until it goes away. Don't change anything. Like, don't get any extra rest. Don't drink any extra liquids. Just sort of, like, <laughs> put up with the cold until it goes away. Yeah, it sounds like it's the first one sounds like it was fucking cool, low key and uh, silly and fun, just like the original classic games done quick marathon. Now they've turned into massive uh, community events, which uh, I've lost the desire to go to a little bit. 
I've always wanted to go to an AGDQ, but this year I was thinking, oh, it just doesn't seem like it'd be worth it. Yeah, talk about it. Talk about that. Picking up a money equals power after a dollar, or having just the dollar and the, and the money equals power in the same run is just the ultimate. So now that I gave up the toilet flusher, I'm thinking a bit more about it. I'm sure I would have forgotten to use it in this room. What the fuck? Come on. I got triple orbitals too. Although they are just pretty flies. It'd be nice if I could see some action coming out of those. Oh, I knew I, I almost never avoid taking damage in that room. That to me is one of the most deadly rooms, or at least one of the most guaranteed to hit you rooms that I've ever that I've come across in this game. Actually, Batman and Star Wars, yeah, it's actually been several months since I've run either of those games. Like, four or five months since I've ran either of those games. I wish I... I want to get more into them. Uh, it's too bad about my, uh, slightly less streaming-ness over the... over the last year. But, you know, I've been busy. Been living it up. Getting the full Japan experience, so some things have had to take a back seat. I still have the games, the, the Star Wars and Batman. I actually didn't used to own the Star Wars game, and then I bought it when I moved to Japan, but I haven't played it nearly as much as when I used to play it on emulator. But one day I might get back into it when things have settled down for me. The hive mind makes your um, suicide flies and suicide spiders bigger and more deadly. <laughs> have I found the boss? I have. I'm just full. Oh, it's depth one. Okay, so we're good. I'm probably gonna want to find the shop on the next floor too. The only item I have that creates flies right now is infestation, so when I take damage, I'm gonna pop out some big Mamma Jamma flies. No, I moved to Japan last year. It was actually my one year anniversary of living in Japan on November 11th. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about that either. Huzzah. They're so small to begin with that if, if they grew, it would be hard to notice, definitely. So now I've seen Greed and Super Greed in the same run. This guy again. So he could drop a health up and I could turn it into three soul hearts, which would make the palm all, like, worth it the entire thing. Worth the entire process of giving up the flusher and taking the paw just for one use of it, honestly. And that's exactly what happened. Um, I will look into the devil deal room first. Ah, oh, it's Krampus, so yeah. Just instant paw on that. And uh, I'll consider giving up the paw for the head because the head is very powerful. If he drops coal, I don't have to give it up. Well, he dropped coal, so... Yeah, I made the move, and uh, now I'm working a lot, and not having as much time to play games and stream them. I've done a couple of sessions of speedrunning over the last year, though. A decent amount. And I'll do more, since now I'm like totally into Rebirth, I don't want to play anything else. But yeah, speedrunning is still really fun for me, it's just uh, it's time consuming. Because you gotta practice, you gotta work really hard at it. 
Isaac's a little more chill as well. I don't know why I'm doing this. There's not really much it can drop that I want. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Two guppy pieces. Two pieces guppy. Uh, oh, one more! Fuck. Guppy would be so epically strong. Although it's just the end of the challenge, so I don't really care. Red chest. <laughs> If I get fired, that would suck. <laughs> so I gotta keep working. Damn, this room sucks. All sorts of armored enemies just gonna eat my suicide flies up. I just ram them. Same as before, I don't really care about slot machines, they're not gonna help that much. What do we got in here? Just that? No thanks. Alright, this on the other hand, I will continue putting money in. And we got another use of the guppy paw. Since this is the last floor, I have no reason to hang on to the red heart containers. Except for fun. What is this? Pheromones and a puberty. There's the shop. Let's see what we got. Another slot machine. Stop giving me slot machines. Pheromones, pheromones. Explosive diarrhea. Yeah, I guess I can carry it around. But I'm not likely to find another health up before the end of the game. Which is right over there. And this could drop a soul heart, technically. Could also drop a. Uh, a balls of steel! Alright, let's just make it happen. Is this blue mom? No, it looks normal. <laughs> the enemy spawns do a lot, a uh, really good job in this game of protecting the doors. This is the long. Am I forced to clear the enemy? Just sitting there and nothing's happening. What the hell was going on there? Mom was just chilling. Brim baby. Wah. To get our baby train a little bit longer before I finish the challenge. Just poop all over. Poops and bombs. That'd be great if those showed up as little poops. Like my regular bombs do. Little un little Unco drawing. Rune of Jera. <laughs> 